I learned some more lessons and things to improve in version number two of the backpack and of course took some notes, wrote down changes and tweaks that I want to make. Luckily the supplies arrived so I can do number three and hopefully final version of the backpack. Starting off with the batting that goes along the back of the backpack and along the bottom here. And the first change that I'm making is that I'm lengthening it by two inches at the bottom here. Oh, and uh, going out about half an inch in width as well. So up to here. Trim, trim, trim. I'm repeating these shapes with some interfacing as well. Oh, look at that. Look what a pair of sharp shears will do. While I'm at it, I think I'm also going to get the, uh, the batting for the straps ready. And I initially I had planned on changing up the width up top here for these, but I've decided instead I'm going to just add in a little bit of width at the bottom to even it out. I initially used this technique just because I wanted to use up what I had but I ended up really liking the way it felt in the last version. You know, one of those Bob Ross happy mistakes, accidents. Time to get to some quilting. Now look, editing corn, I know we may not necessarily have earned it, but uh, this is rather monotonous work, so maybe uh, a little song to keep the spirits up while I get this done. Um, moving on to the fabric for the outside of the bag and these are the three panels that make up the back of the backpack. This fabric that I got myself is a cotton canvas in black of course. I like that it's a little bit heavier but still a natural fiber. Draw that in. No, no, please don't fall off. Please don't fall off. And I am, of course, uh, adjusting these sizes based on the slight adjustment I wanted to make. Another thing I don't like is the way this strap dangles over the side of the backpack here. First, I mean, it covers the zipper, but also it just looks messy having this flap hanging here. So first I'm going to cut out the pieces I need to create the strap regularly. But then I'm doing one more set of these strap pieces. However, these ones are not going all the way to the top, only to here. And then uh, I'll explain in a second why I'm doing that, but uh, I mean, I can't ruin the surprise. Unlike the original backpack set, I'm going to finish all the raw edges on this one. On these short pieces, I'm going to draw myself a line about an inch and a half up. Right to there, 
fold it over right to there okay and then stitch that down remember these quilted bits from earlier they are now going on to the inside of the straps and lay down some fabric so it doesn't melt of course nice that has stuck on well what i did do a little differently this time is i made the batting just a little bit smaller to make room for that seam allowance because this is a thicker fabric so that way when i sew it and fold it all around the other way it doesn't get too thick so before I can put the straps together, uh, I made a little boo-boo. I don't need to fold over these little pieces. I need to do it on these ones. Now bring this side up the inch and a half instead. Now the final assembly, and I'm gonna put down the short piece first, the full strap piece with the little fold, and line that up inch and a half up. My webbing, and I've gone for a cotton one this time around, unlike that polyester stuff last time around. And then finally, the piece with the batting on top of all of that. An extra zigzag stitch on the end here for some uh, added strength. I'll flip this all around. Let's see how well this has worked out. Slow and steady wins this made up race. There it is, worked out all right. And by adding in that extra little flap, I created a little pocket where later on with the extra strap, I can just tuck it in like that and it's gone. Oh, come on, that's clever, isn't it? Uh, the straps can go on to the back now. Draw myself a nice handy little box here to line everything up with. And then on top of that goes the little handle. So I'm just going to put it on one side for now. Well, it seems to be going through. That's nice. Fold this flap around to here. Now the top half can go over top of there. I've got to be careful here to make sure nothing shifts on me. Really push it down. Come on, we can do this. Oh yeah, some zigzag stitches again, like I did with the straps, just to make sure there's a nice sturdy connection. A top stitch on the outside as well. This quilting is now going on this full length back piece. Get my protection on top. There we go. Lie flat for me, please and thank you.
the back of the backpack is complete. And uh, that's where I'm going to leave it for today. I'll continue next week.